gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Isn't awesome. Gore. God, he reigns. Boo. Gotcha. Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to the fourth review, number four, for the month of Gore. And this time, I'm taking a look at The Awakening, which is a movie starring Rebecca Hall and Dominic West, two people I never really thought I would see in a horror movie. I'll tell you why they're in this film in a minute, because it might not be exactly what you think it is. Well, you might not even know what this movie is, but I'll talk about it right now. The Awakening, let's talk about it. The story for The Awakening is set in 1921 in England and follows Florence, played by Rebecca Hall, who does not is not a paranormal investigator. No, no, no. She actually debunks paranormal occurrences supposed occurrences. She goes to seances and stuff and pretty much proves that they are just bull. Like, there's no such thing as ghosts. And yeah, she has a strong disagreement with ghosts. They're like, she just does not think they exist. So, of course, a, uh, a boarding school teacher, played by Dominic West, comes to her and says, Hey, um, I know you like to debunk things and stuff, but we might have a serious case on our hands. We think our boarding school is haunted. A kid just recently died. He was pretty much, he got killed by getting scared to death by a ghost. Everybody's saying there's a ghost. Could you help us and pretty much find out if there really is a ghost or whatnot? And she decides, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. She goes there and... There might be a ghost. Who knows? You gotta go watch the film to find out. That's all I'll explain there. There you go. There's the story. Now, what I like about the film is that it doesn't focus too much on scares. Now, there are scares, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't really focus on them too much, which I liked because it focused more on atmosphere, which there was plenty of in this movie, and characters, which there's not too many main characters in this. There's, uh, of course, you have Rebecca Hall, you have Dominic West, you have Amalda Stoughton, who pretty much plays the maid of the boarding school, and you have a couple of kid actors here and there, but for the most part, the main characters are those three that I mentioned. Um, and builds character, it builds atmosphere, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, it was a pretty creepy little boarding school, it was a creepy little horror story, uh, and I really enjoyed it. But what I didn't like, this is my main problem, was that when it got to the scares, which there are jump scares for all you little girls that love that stuff, which, I mean, I like it too, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I like it when it's well done. Here, I, I felt like it just wasn't, because it was like, okay, Rebecca Hall's like, oh, she's looking at something, oh, okay, she turns around, Oh, she heard something, but there's nothing there. She turns back, oh, there's something there. Loud music, scary. And there, there's times where it actually got me, but for the most part, we've seen stuff like that before. There are a couple actually really creepy uh, things that happen in this film. There's a whole thing with a dollhouse, which I thought was very well done and very creepy because it wasn't like at the end, ooh, jump scare, ooh, loud music, ooh, scary, 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 or ooh, cat, or something. You know, it did it very well at times, but for the most part, a lot of the scares were like, ooh, jump scare, ooh, weird ghost face kid, or something like that, <laughs> and that, that just kind of sucked. I, I didn't like when it had to go that route. Uh, again, I really like the characters. Rebecca Hall is great here. She's very likable. You get to see her nude. Kind of. It might not have even been her that was nude. Close enough, though. Yeah, hey, that good enough for me. <laughs> you know? Uh, hey, you know. Uh, but, you know, she's great in this. She's actually a really likable character. Uh, because this is set in 1920s, there's a whole thing about her being an educated woman, and she has to deal with that, and she's you know, pretty much smarter than every other person in this school, which is kind of weird because it's a school, so you would expect a lot of these uh, grown-ups to be smarter. But she's pretty much, you know, outsmarting them here and there. And I really, really enjoyed her in this film. I also really like Dominic West, which... Very surprising, because I have not seen him in a film, like him being being good in a film in a very long time, and he is actually very good here too. Uh, Amalda Stoughton is great here too, whenever uh, her and Rebecca Hall together, you know, not not like like sparks of chemistry, but they're, they're very good in the film together. Uh, so overall, I actually thought the acting was really good, the characters are very likable, you really want to see what happens at the end. It's, uh, it's pretty long, it's about an hour, 50 minutes, but it goes by very quickly. Again, the atmosphere is definitely there. Um, I like the ending too, and I also like that it didn't go into the generic route of ghost stories where, oh, now everything's gonna, just like shit gets real, like ghosts everywhere at the end or something. It didn't, it didn't go the insidious route, which I enjoyed. It went calmer. I mean, there was definitely a big, like, ooh, thing that happened at the end, but it wasn't like, oh, all these ghosts everywhere, you know, it was just like, it was calmer, so I like that, so overall, even though the, you know, the jump scares got on my nerves sometimes, I still, 
Cars, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it, they're very loud. I'm sorry. Cars are loud. True fact. Um, but uh, I've still really enjoyed this film. I did. So I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 32... No, you know what? I gave too many movies that. I'm going to give it a 33 out of 40 because I did like the characters quite a bit in this film. And the jump scares are the only real problem with this film and there's not too many there's like maybe four or five that I didn't like and they're quick so I'll give it that so overall I really like this film it was really good definitely go check it out thank you and goodbye